Hi guys and welcome back. So today we are watching My Hero Academia season 4 episode 24 slash 87. This and last week we had a very 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 good episode. It was really just kind of fun. They had the festival. It was touching. It was just you know and in this episode we're going to be kind of having like what i call an award show for like heroes and stuff where they rank them and they get kind of i don't know if they get medals and, tro <laughs> and trophies but they get like charted i guess and uh there's a new character hawks that we're gonna meet that you guys told me last week finally that i did meet him before i'm like i knew i heard this name before you guys told me that tokoyami was actually interning under him like and after i was like oh yes like yes okay so without further ado let's jump right into it and to see how this episode goes i'm looking forward to it and uh yeah. They are not getting a ponytail. Hey, look at him being a dad. Oh, yeah? Like, I'm so sorry my computer is so loud these days. It's like, what? Coronavirus! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh my god, look at them in like their normal attire. <gasps> I want Paul pad buns. That whole incident, like, I don't know why I love it so much. <gasps> that is precious. Oh, you're his, like, hero. His idol. <laughs> it's a bad habit of mine. No way. No more chat yet. Hawks is third. Oh yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't they usually start from like all the- Okay, never mind. No, that's fine. Top 10. Okay. But like, where does the show go after that? Hey girl, what's good? Oh my god, is she like black too? Like, hey! Oh my god, she's like one of my- She just entered my one of my favorite character lists and I barely know her.
Why y'all gotta add in the he's waited a long time? Like, y'all didn't have to say that. <laughs> oh, they don't usually do events like this? Okay, he's, he's giving off different vibes than what I expected. He can smile, he could talk and stuff, okay. Hey, I like this girl. <laughs> I feel like he does not want to speak. Did he just unzip his mouth because he zipped it before? <laughs> He's like really not expecting <laughs> Oh, he's 22! <laughs> I would have given him 26, but he's 22. He's my age. Why you gotta be like that? Like... <laughs> Come on, show them endeavor. I believe in you changing and becoming a better and more approved person. After that young person has found the flames, I won't say much. Just watch. <laughs> Just watch. <laughs> that's, that's actually a fire comeback. I'm not even gonna lie. That's all you have to say. Just watch. Just watch. Yeah, that was cool. Like, he handled that well. No! No. <laughs> he looks like he could do it, but he doesn't look like the type that would and particularly wants to. Shane? Shane? Oh, what? <laughs> okay, but does nobody recuperate him? <laughs> He's just like, shut up. <laughs> what? You don't even gotta be there. Like, like, be there. He's low key lazy. <laughs> yeah, you gotta learn from him. He's doing things very right, you know, in order to like have people. <laughs> oh my god, everyone's staying away. It would be so cute if Endeavor, like, you know, open his eyes like a hug, a huge hug, like I'd like to hug this big guy. Okay, 
that was like good but oh my god I didn't think of that some people probably like him for the way he is like this child right here like oh in changing he's gonna be disappointing some people <laughs> I didn't think of that That seems just like gossip though, like... So you're just like, fly around the country. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it seems like just a scary story, like being told. It could be very easily that. He'd actually be like a very good number one. He just doesn't. <laughs> he's not down. <laughs> That's so me. Hmm. That's a nice way of putting it. There. It's right there. He's gonna do his number one hero thing. You know what I'm saying? Get it! Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh. This is not going to be easy. I just know it. We can fly too? Is this the first time I'm seeing that? It makes sense. He had the boosters under his feet, but like, I feel like that's the first time I'm actually seeing him fly. Like, yeah. Yo, this is a moment for him to prove himself. He'll come out fine. Oh, Taluki. Oh my god, wait, no! Oh my god. Yay! Okay. Alright, so Hogs. Yeah, I like him. <laughs> I like him, I think. I like him as a as a person. Like the the person the type of person he is, I like him. He is a good person. He is a nice person a considerate person in like his own way because like that first time he's like dissed everybody but like in a way to motivate them and make them come out a better version of themselves <laughs> it was like that um so no he's cool like i actually really like his character that buddy girl is a vibe okay i like her a lot so completely unlike what i thought hawks is not a angsty <laughs> lonely person i really thought that's what he was like but he's not like that at all um, so yeah, I knew he was like, well, I figure, I really figure based on what they showed us that he was, um, trained and stuff by, like, the government and whatnot, but we don't know anything about him yet. Like, I don't know if he was an orphan or, like, I don't know if he was actually taken in by the government under its care or if he has family, but the family that didn't know how to handle him, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but we'll find out eventually. However... I haven't seen him in action yet, so I really want to see him in action because what he showed us so far is that he can fly and that he can move his feathers, like literally they can float and stuff and yeah, but that doesn't seem strong particularly at all, so I think I really 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 want to know what more he can do. So I don't know if they're going to show him in action really next week, but I want to see him in action. I'm super looking forward to Endeavor going off, like, and it's with my hair. Um, I'm totally looking forward to Endeavor going off because I really feel like he needs that moment. Like, I just want him to have that moment. Like, I love, I'm a sucker for change. I am a sucker for people that want to change for the better. I'm just like, you yes, like. So when I see him, like, you know, he gave the handout to the kid, like, that is a whole other endeavor. I am so proud of him. How he approached Todoroki that last time, like, just, it's so, like, yes, yes. So I'm extremely rooting for him. Like, I'm really rooting for him. So, so yeah, although I say I am all for a person, you know, changing for the better, this is not to say, now let me get this straight. Okay. 
This is not to say that I by any means pardon him for what he's done. He has done bad things. I am... S Men that hit their wives are so not a thing. Like, it pisses me off so much. And any other type of abuse, like there was abuse in his household. I don't know why he reached such a point. He must have been so blinded by Todoroki's masterpiece or whatever. But I don't see how you can reach a point. It seems because we saw at the end, you know, that family photo. It seems like good unless it was pretenses. But like, I don't see how he reached a point of being physically aggressive with his wife. Like that is just not a thing. So, and not just his wife. Like his other kids. I don't know. It's not very clear yet how he treated his other kids. I get the feeling he didn't pay them much mind, because you know they were failures. But he was very harsh on Todoroki. And although I was super happy that Todoroki was being like this bigger person, he was kind of like, I guess he doesn't necessarily need to forgive his father, right? I wouldn't even fully expect that, but. He was kind of allowing his father to show him that he can grow and change, you know what I'm saying? So, totally, re total respect for that. And I have respect for his father changing. Like, that is commendable because everyone is always a type of way. They, they could be bad. They, from whatever experiences they had, they could turn out a certain way. But it's if you never change that you're just a major disappointment all your life. You could be a disappointment for a long term, but if you are able to change, like... But I do not pardon him for what he's done. Like, I'm not going to forget what he's done. I'm not going to act like he wasn't a piece of shit in the past. Like, I'm not going to act like that wasn't a thing. Like, he was bad to his family. His wife is, was, like, in a hospital. Like, this is just not acceptable. And all of Todoroki's, you know, really young years were just traumatic. Like, it's easily traumatic, so... Yeah, I'm saying all this, but I'm not forgetting the type of person he was, and I don't think anybody should forget the type of person he was. Now, whether his wife or Todoroki should forgive him or his other kids, whether he should be forgiven is so, like, you know, um, forgiveness is always, like, the top of everything. It's always, like, one of the hardest things to achieve for people, because sometimes you have to put aside your pride, put aside your hurt. You have to put so much aside in a lot of cases in order to forgive someone. And sometimes even though you say I forgive you, it's hard to make yourself really feel that if you don't. Forgiveness is really, really hard. So I'm not going to say, oh, everyone should, like, his family mostly should forgive him now. Like, I'm not going to say that, but, you know, I think they should head towards steps to forgive him because it's not even just about him. It's about you too, you know, to be able to forgive, um, yeah, but forgiveness is not easy, I'm not gonna say it is, and I did mention how I noticed, yeah, Endeavor is gonna be disappointing some of his current fans, because I'm sure all of his current fans are people that like his hard shell, his coldness, because that's what he was, so they were fans of him, non like, regardless, that means they were a fan of him being that, and <laughs> He will be disappointing some people if he changes. Um, I get the feeling he'll gather more. I mean, it's unfortunate that it's like, I'm gonna switch y'all out, you know what I mean? I'm gonna switch these fans out, but hopefully if they liked him enough, they'll still support him and he will have a grander fan base um, if he changes. I hope, I get the feeling, I mean, look, he's going up against a new remodeled Nemu, like that is not luck, but I believe he can do it. I believe he could do it. I mean, it's just a Nemo. Like, he could do it, and All Might handled that pretty well. Well, he, when he fought one back in the day, he was, he was not in good shape, you know? He's not at the top of his game, so... Endeavor is, I'm sure, so... You could do this. <laughs> I see that, you know, to, like, everyone's gonna be kind of, like, watching in and listening in. Like, this is a moment where he was just named the number one hero, and he's going against the Nemo. If he loses, like... The devastation that will fall for the whole, like for the everyone, for the whole population there that's watching, it's gonna be like heavy. Like he can't lose. It's like that, you know. His heroism is on the line. Like literally, heroes as a whole are on the line because he's number one. He's at the top of all of them. So 
he will represent what the heroes can do right now and if he loses that means nobody can beat his ass okay that's basically what it'll show and everyone's gonna be scared like that'll be over they're gonna be like wow they're strong the villains are stronger than the heroes like we're done and that's crazy i get the feeling he really is gonna have to handle it on his own i don't know if they're gonna send back up but like shit anyways i think he can do it this is gonna be really exciting next week i find I was happy to see the Pussycats and Kota again, um, that was such a cute moment, like I'm so happy for me that he has like a little fan and it's just, you're his hero, like ugh, I'm so proud of him. I'm not forgetting that dude in the mountains, like we just not talking about him anymore, you remember Gran Torino, that freaking big ass rock human, like okay, so he is still there and he's just like in the past right now and it's like I haven't forgotten him. I have not forgotten him, okay? He's still lurking, like, it's not okay. I'm just I'm just seeing all these things, and I'm like, holy cow, we're gonna face all of them at some point. Oh, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts, how you feel down below. No spoilers, and I will see you all again for the last episode next week of My Academia Season 4. So thank you so much, guys, and bye!